another college football season has come under wraps and I'm here in Oxford as Ole Miss and Mississippi State cap off their seasons and meet for the annual Egg Bowl. It's the 111th meeting between these two teams and it's no secret that the blood runs deep in the veins of this heated rivalry. I'm here talking to Bulldog fans and Rebel fans about this classic matchup. When I was little, I watched Colonel Reb and the Mississippi State Bulldog fight over an Ole Miss cheerleader. Like the Bulldog had the, the hands and the, uh, the Colonel had the feet and they were tugging back and forth to who could take the Ole Miss cheerleader. It was 2010 and I was here for the first time ever and somehow somebody snuck in this like three foot long hellbell <laughs> and I was able to ring it over the end zone. This is going to be my favorite moment of the day because this is the first one I've, I've attended. Nico Whitley, make it in Bo, fumble in the end zone. Definitely last year uh, when Bo Wallace fumbled. When Bo Wallace ate the maroon last year. It's like that, huh? How yeah. about two years ago when we beat y'all with 41-7? No way. 31-7? Yeah. Okay. okay. My favorite uh, egg bowl is going to be this one because we're going to upset State and keep them out of the playoff and it doesn't get much better than that. Ruining the dream. Hotty toddy. I don't think it's changed that much. It's still an uh, uh, underlying hatred. Mississippi State people, they mostly hate us. It's kind of like a big brother, little brother syndrome. Dan Mullen has made a big deal about it, and uh, which is good because it does get a lot of camaraderie. I love the rivalry. I can't. I wouldn't have it any other way. Dan Mullen's kind of known for hyping the team much more than they ought to be hyped. Well, it seems like it's more intense this year. I think Dan Mullen and you Breeze are both good coaches. It hasn't changed. We've always hate State. Now they are the school up north versus Ole Miss. Y'all are Sunday. Well, I hate State. The rivalry's never changed. They're been, Cow College. They're Cow College. They got those darn cowbells. Who has cowbells anymore? Hotty Toddy! And that's your rivalry right there, baby. All Miss fans, very welcoming in their tailgates have a lot of good fashion sense. They don't smell like corn dogs. They have the best tailgating ever at the Grove. They also are great at landscaping. When they cut my grass, <laughs> it, uh, it looks very nice. Ole Miss fans are loyal. Even though they lose, they're still there. They're loyal. One nice thing to say is they've got some really good cowboy boots. They have to be quarterback. I hope they score this weekend versus last weekend. This is my best friend and she's an Ole Miss fan, so I guess you could say they're all right, but still, hey, yeah. What's one good thing you can say about a Mississippi State fan? <laughs> Y'all going down today. 